morning. I'm going to um, show you this video that will help you complete the convection lab for Earth Science. Um, I'm going to read the introduction. It says, this activity will show how and why currents form in fluids. Fluids includes liquids and gases that can flow. This method of heat transfer happens in the Earth's oceans, atmosphere, and mantle. Questions to consider. What causes the formation of currents in a fluid, and how is heat energy transferred by these currents? Um, we have some materials. We have a 1,000 milliliter beaker, a 50 milliliter Erlmeyer flask with a rubber stopper, um, and that's it. Um, this, I'm going to read you the directions just so you know what it is we are doing. It says gather the materials, fill the beaker three quarters of the way full with water. You can see that I did that. That water is uh, tap water, so it's kind of like room temperature water. Bring the flask and stopper to the front and have your teacher fill it with hot colored water. Okay, so we have red water and it is hot water from, uh, I've heated it up. We're going to carefully and gently put a stopper on the top so that no air is inside. We're going to wipe off any excess color from the outside. Gently place the flask at the bottom of a beaker. So to do this lab, you're going to need a red colored pencil and a blue colored pencil. So if you don't have those, pause this so you can go get them. And it says to wipe off any, uh, gently place the flask at the bottom of the beaker. Make a drawing of number one. So for number one, at time zero, you can draw it like this, and you can even draw <clears throat> the stopper in there if you want. We're going to slowly remove the stopper with the flask in the beaker, and then we're going to wait two minutes. So we're at about the two minute mark uh, on the timer of this video, so at four minutes we would make another drawing. I'm going to take the stopper out, and you can see that the red water starts to rise and spread across the top. So using your red colored pencil only, not the blue, just the red colored pencil. You're going to draw that motion. You can use arrows to show the upward motion or rising of the hot water and spreading across the top. And then you can kind of see it here starting to come down a little bit. It, goes up to the top, it cools as it goes this way, and then it starts to move downward. So this upward motion could be considered floating or rising. And then over here, we're going to have like a sinking or downward motion sometimes. So you're going to keep this playing for a while. While you're waiting to do your next drawing, which would be in about a minute, um, you could answer some of the other questions that are found in the lab. So you want to think about the speed and spacing of the molecules and how that might affect the density and how density might affect the position and the motion rising and sinking. I'm going to come back in a little while and do the same thing with cold water. Yeah, we're at four minutes, so you should be doing that next drawing.
Okay, so we're coming up on that six minute mark. You should draw that. Just because I want to see what happens when we do this, I'm going to put an ice cube up here. Do anything? Yeah, you can see the red coming down. When it's cooled, now the material starts to sink. Even though it had rose originally, the ice cube sitting here is producing some cooling, which is making it become more dense and sink. So this is all based on density. Okay, I'm going to pause the video, and then I will do the cold water. So now we have the same setup. I have room temperature water in the outside. The clear water is room temperature. The blue water is just cold water that has some blue food coloring in it. Um, we have the stopper in there, and I'm going to take the stopper out in just a second. And then you're going to begin drawing. You do notice that some of the blue comes out initially, and that's from me pulling the stopper out. Gives it a little bit of energy, but immediately, where does that water go? It doesn't go, it goes up, but it's because it's following the stopper out. But you can see this over here, it's going down. Think about the speed of the molecules in cold water. They have less collisions, so they're closer together. That changes the density, and what do things that are more dense do? They have this motion where they sink down through. So you're supposed to draw at time zero and then six minutes later. And we can leave this for six minutes. And, or you can kind of fast forward through because it's already in a position where it is sank below the slightly warmer room temperature water. So not much is going to happen here. So while you're kind of letting this play in the background, make sure you get some of the other questions in the lab completed instead of just sitting here watching it do pretty much nothing. Even when water is doing nothing, you have to remember at the atomic scale or the microscopic scale, all those molecules are moving. They're just moving at different speeds.
Okay, that's pretty close to six minutes. You stuck with it this long, nothing happened. So make sure you finish up the rest of the lab and submit it to the assignment.